since I started with the pizzicato and the plucking and my guitar background, I, I started coming up with a music that really sounded like Americana. It sounded very unadorned and very, you know, kind of earnest and, and pretty melodies that were very direct. Once I realized this was the direction I was going, I just kind of went with that. Most classical players learn a little bit about how to pizzicato, but it's nothing compared to what the uh, jazz bass players develop. And that's where I learn what I do, is I watch them and how they use the meat of the finger. And, um, and so, and now I'm bringing that back to kind of a guitar, combining that with kind of a guitar finger picking thing. When I'm really working on a particular inspiration, then I definitely sit down with cello in hand and and just lurch at ideas as they pass by and just see what kind of works on the cello and what maybe s turns into the beginning of an idea. All I need is a beginning of an idea that will send me in a direction. It can be a tuning, like if I tune detune the cello in a way that has a real atmosphere, it'll, it'll definitely turn into at least one piece, you know. When I'm playing, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to have, I always look for moment, have moments of, of kind of a connection or of, of emotion. I mean, I feel like I've, when I'm improvising or playing, I'm always tapping into a certain kind of passion and energy. Thank you. Thanks very much for coming.